you helping me show off this bed. I'm very pleased with how this, um, oh, I can't think what it's called. Eh. Anyway, there's hellebore here, and then there's these flashes of blue underneath that I love at the bottom. With this purple leaf, I'll come back to it because I'll remember it, with these beautiful red tulips. I know the tulips are called King's Blood. I want to get more. I only had a few, and they came out really well. Here's another King's Blood. But they really work really well. These are some fritillaries. And then this is an aromatic, delicious smelling um, daffodil. But the purples and reds, I love how they've worked with the dark hellebores and the dark uh, hydrangea. Hello, I knew I'd get there in the end. But they just look gorgeous together. Uh, so I'd love to, next year, I'll get more oxblood and not ox blood, king's blood tulips to go in here and look at the spots of blue underneath. Oh, I'm really pleased with how this bed is maturing and turning out. One day it'll be so beautiful with this kind of combination. I love this combination. These beautiful tiny white daffodils I want to add when this pot is finished, it's got white tulips, which I'll put somewhere else. But um, these, I want to put in that bed with the um, hellebores and red tulips, because there will be the ox king's blood tulip will stand above it. And then you'll have all the white underneath. It will make it ping out a bit more. Maybe put a few of these down, the grape hyacinths, uh, on the lower level, because the bed is looking nicer and nicer. Over here, these are some more of the primroses, but these tulips are beginning to come out, which is lovely. A big mixed bag of tulips. In here, the tulips and daffodils are supposed to come out at the same time. These are a lovely, pale, tiny one. I'll put them somewhere else uh, when they're over, but not in the bed with the uh, hellebores and hydrangeas and uh, big red tulips. And over here, these pink tulips are beginning to come out. They were here last year. And there was the deep, deep purple of these grape hyacinths. But what's lovely is that the wisteria is coming out. Now this wisteria, this will be its seven, eight, ninth or 10th year growing. And it was just a slip that I got at Lidl or Aldi, I can't remember. This is, I'm very pleased with how this bed is developing. This has, um, I can never remember the name of those things, but I love the contrasting in foliage and color and things like that. Like this hellebore has this wonderful leaf where that one is that. So it's a kind of a mixed bed that, uh, it'll also come to life in the summer months with, um, black-eyed Susans and things like that. But this um, hyacinth, hyacinth, wisteria, was just a slip of one that I bought, and now it's that. Here you can see a clematis is doing really well as well. This clematis has been here for two years, so it's really springing forth. I'm gonna have to wind it up a little bit, so. This bed is going to be an explosion of bluebells and then uh, during the summer months it's mint so we can find the mint to the one location. This is a rock rose so it'll be beautiful red blooms you can see that they will be coming out. But Inca is getting very involved in uh, the gardening aspect. Aren't you Inca Dink? So the bluebells are about to happen. You can see these hellebores were doing well earlier. Last year there were a lot more red tulips. This year you can see there's only those two. This is daisies, so we have a huge explosion of daisies at one stage uh, during the year. And then over here, the tulips. These are all red tulips um, that will be coming up. Now I planted some other red tulips that are earlier than the conventional red tulips, but they're kind of a mixed 
a, a, a cocktail tulip of color. So you can see these are like cocktail of color tulips. Oh look, there's somebody inside. Can you see? Don't know who's in there. Oop, who's in there? Uh, I can't see. Anyway, these will be all red. So the cocktail colored tulips might add a good dimension, I'm not sure. We'll find out this year anyway, because it's the first time I've put some of those kind of orange green ones rather than the red ones. I love the red contrast up against the wall. And you're always by my side. I'd be so careful when I walk backwards filming in case I tip over you. Oh, you're just jealous. You're just jealous. You're just jealous. You good boy. So yeah, little small parts of our garden are coming to the fore and looking, beginning to look really good with their uh, flowers. So I'd never grown this one here. That's a lovely one. Oh, does it smell? Very faintly, very faintly. And then over here, this is, uh, this is about to bloom, you can see. And then this is a lovely red, uh, purple. That's not red, that's purple. And then here are some pots that I have here. So all in all, these little garden rooms are uh, developing nicely over the year. Isn't that right, Pep? You good boy. Yeah, you good boy.